A recent fight at a Cottage Grove Middle School has some parents concerned. They say they are seeing a growing trend of bullying and school violence. Thank you for joining us. I'm Renee McCullough. KEZI 9 News reporter Albert James spoke to one parent who says his son was attacked at Lincoln Middle School about what he about what he wants to see done to address the problem. It's not, it's not a safe environment at the moment. Ben Robbins is the parent of an eighth grader at Lincoln Middle School. When he heard about a fight at the school Thursday morning between students that paramedics responded to, he thought of how his son was attacked in a hallway earlier this month. Another student had a friend of his record, record him uh, sneaking up on my kid, uh, sucker punching him, hitting him right in the eye, and then running away down the hallway. Robbins says the student who threw the punch only got a two-day suspension for the attack, with the school keeping the punishment the same even after seeing the video. The school gave him a two-day suspension, um, which to me is basically a, a fortnight vacation. These students have to screw up, you know, 30, 40 times before they're even close to consideration to be expelled from school. Robbins says the response he's seen from the district about the fight on Thursday and the attack on his own son is simply not enough. He says he wants to see change when it comes to addressing school violence and bullying. Coordination with the parents, telling the parents what's going on, telling the parents what the plan is going to be to move forward to stop this, um, putting, putting measures in place like more people in the hallways uh, supervising this stuff. In a statement, Southline School District says paramedics responded to a student-to-student -student incident out of an abundance of caution on Thursday, while all other students remained safe. They say they put the highest priority on student safety and proactively teach students how to be safe, respectful, and responsible. Robin says schools often say they have zero tolerance for bullying and harassment, but he thinks that just doesn't appear to be true. There is tolerance. There's an insane amount of tolerance. It multiple kids, repeat offenders doing the same thing over and over and they're getting a slap on the wrist. So it, they say there's a no tolerance policy, but there that really isn't the case. Reporting in Cottage Grove, Albert James, KZI 9 News.